Brain in my knee bag, you must do it. Y'all see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I put together this deck. It's got the Royal Recruits and the Zap as the evolution slot. And I think it's still gonna be really good even though evolutions are essentially getting nerfed or at least reworked if you wanna call some of them. But I think they're still gonna be really good because of just what they do and what they are as a card. We're gonna start with Royal Recruits here in the back if our opponent doesn't wanna play anything. Let's get back to the evil Royal Recruits as soon as possible. And our opponent's got the Inferno Dragon, so it could be a couple of things, including Balloon, which this deck doesn't do the best against because it doesn't have a building or anything like that. So we're gonna wait this out and see what we can make happen. We're gonna go with a Mini P.E.K.K.A. here in the back. And we're gonna go with Road Delivery here. That should be able to distract the Inferno Dragon for long enough while also doing some damage to it. And I think we'll be okay. So Mini P.E.K.K.A. is essentially sent there to die. Our opponent's got Giant, so that's not something you wanted to see, of course. But we're gonna go with the Little Prince ability and then we're gonna poison that. So now that we know he's got the graveyard, so that's something that we'll definitely keep an eye out for. And we're one more away from Evil Zap. Evil Zap's still really good, even though the damage for the second and third strike are getting nerfed. That's not really the point. It's just the fact that it can zap and reset three in a row, essentially. So Little Prince is gonna get a lot of good damage there. And we're gonna have Flying Machine here for defense. Should be pretty good. We're just gonna zap all of these skeletons. And we do get one shot off from the flying machine before it gets fireballed. So really good because definitely help prevent too much damage from the witch. So we don't really know if he's going to have a really good counter. We're going to split with, we're going to split two hogs going each way. I've only seen Inferno Dragon. That could be, you know, a, a way to, to kill the wind conditions, but that's not going to do too well against the roll hogs. We're going to go with Little Prince here and we're going to use the Little Prince ability. We're also going to use um, Road Delivery here. We're going to poison this. And if, as you can see, with the Little Prince ability and the Road Delivery, we're absolutely able to crush that um, that push right there. We're going to go Road Recruits as well, in, our, in case our opponent wants to drop anything. But I think that poison may have screwed him over. That, I think, is going to be good game well played, if you have, if you ask me. So we're gonna, just going to sit back, relax, and defend for the next 30 seconds. And I think we should be pretty good. Little Prince is going to finish off that Witch. And we're going to go with Roll Hogs here. Keep up the pressure on that left side. We're going to go Mini Packet here as well. Maybe a little wild. But we're going to go with the Double Zap there. And I think we should be good because that Mini Pekka may be able to get onto that tower. Or at least if not, distract long enough and prevent him from, you know. He doesn't want to lose two towers, which I don't blame him. But he won't go for the win. And just like that, good game, well played. Let's hop into another one. Alright, hop into another match here. So let's try and continue our win streak. Our opponent's gonna go with Lava Hound. We're gonna go with the Roll Hogs immediately and go up against someone with Lava Hound and Bomber. So, Bomber is gonna be a card that's gonna get nerfed pretty hard uh, next season. Uh, we're gonna go with the Little Prince here. We also have the Flying Machine, so that's something that we can use as, this, um, as a way to finish off the Lava Hound if needed. We're also gonna get our Poison ready for all of this. That's essentially gonna come down after um, the, the Royal Recruits are taken care of, we're gonna zap all of this, do more damage and finish off that Inferno Dragon. That's a horrible push. He completely left three Royal Recruits and I didn't even notice it. That's tower down. Our opponent's gonna opt to go for Balloon, which is kind of interesting, but dropping the Flying Machine right there, making it having to go all the way around that. Even though we give up a hit, in other scenarios, you maybe prevent all damage or prevent one less hit like what we just had right there. So Flying Machine is able to get a couple shots off on that right Cannoneer Tower. And we have our Evil Roar Recruits. So as much hate as Evil Roar Recruits get, um, as deserved as that may be, it's still really, really solid, really, really good. Um, and again, yes, maybe it takes a little bit of a no skill to make that happen, but it is what it is. We'll go with the Little Prince right here to defend against the Lava Hound and see what he does. He hasn't shown a big spell, so I'm not particularly worried. We're gonna go with um, Mini Pekka right there for the night. And then we're gonna zap all of this, essentially just allow our Little Prince to one-shot everything. And we're gonna go with uh, Roll Hogs. If it doesn't get down in time, we're gonna take a shot, which we do. That left side, Prince, that left side, or I guess now it's just the King Tower, 
is down quite a bit so we're gonna go with the flying machine right here and we just need one more push and we should be okay we're gonna go road delivery right here should be able to take out the evil bomber and let's get when we get a chance we're gonna go with row recruits again uh, we may have to poison this just so we don't absolutely get demolished we're going to lose that tower but sometimes you do have to know when to sack your tower so we're gonna go with little prince right here and the princess tower should be able to switch targeting so that'll be good for us um, our opponent looks like he wants to start defending that king tower so we're gonna go with roll hogs like this and whatever he drops we're just gonna evil his app essentially and that's gonna be really good because that is going to be essentially the entire tower down and we're gonna poison and finish off those skeleton dragons and bomber gets taken care of that's going to be good game well played no building yes but we do have two uh pretty good air defenses for lava hound decks or balloon decks so another w let's hop into one more all right hopping this is the last match let's end this video here with a w so let's wait and see what our opponent wants to do here if he doesn't want to do anything we'll check back when he does all right so didn't have to wait too long our opponent's going to go with the knight Dagger Duchess does struggle more during Double Elixir and Triple Elixir just because you can throw so many things at once. We'll go with the Fly Machine as well. So it looks like maybe some sort of Graveyard or Skeleton King focus deck. Not really sure yet. We do have Mini P.E.K.K.A that we can use against it. Should be pretty effective. We'll drop the Mini P.E.K.K.A right now. Our opponent's got the Roll Recruits, so I mean we do too. We'll go Roll Delivery here and we're going to poison this out. That should be pretty good for us, I'd say. Um, Infernal Dragon should be essentially not much of a threat. We take one stab from the Royal Recruit there on that right side. So our opponent's going to have the evil Royal Recruits before we can get to ours. So that's going to be a slight problem. But I think that's going to give us an opportunity right now to go with the hog, um, the Royal Hogs. And see if we can force out Fireball, which, you know, we'll definitely take. We do get one little nibble there. And... Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be a spam with the Skeleton King, so we'll definitely, definitely be sure to focus up on that. When it spawns, we're going to go with Zap here, and that will preser preserve our Little Prince for the most part. It does take a hit from a bat from the bat, so kind of interesting that that, that that type of interaction happens, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go with the Flying Machine here. We're also going to go with the Road Delivery. That should be able to deal with the Skeleton King, and I'm kind of surprised because there's not much like skeletons that he was able to spawn we'll go with zap here as well that'll give us the evil zap on our next um on our next zap so we need to buy four seconds somehow uh that flying machine is actually being pretty clutch to be honest i think we're able to finish off the mother witch so that's really good because that's going to be able to snipe everything from the bridge we're going to go poison right here and let's play some good defense and then we'll turn one good um opportunity into really good offense I think that would be the way that we win this. We'll go with Little Prince here. He's going to have a decent amount um, on that Skeleton King gauge. We're going to go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A right now. A um, little bit early, but, you know, it's not too bad, I'd say. And he does have the Mother Witch, so that's something we have to be uh, cautious of. We're going to go with the Row Recruits here in the back. Um, we're going to go with the Evil Zap as well. And we're going to go with the Little Prince right now. And that should be able to protect our Little Prince and force out some more Elixir that he doesn't want to drop. We'll poison this. And then let's get ready with uh, Roll Hogs right now. And I think we should be okay. This should be a pretty decent push, I'd say. Um, Roll Hogs are getting, on, getting after it on that tower. We're going to go with Roll Recruits as well. And let's get a zap when those uh, bats spawn. We're going to go with the Little Prince as well. And we honestly defended that pretty well. Even if he drops the Mother Witch right now, we have Poison that we can use, so I doubt he's going to use that. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty defensive game. We're going to go with the Flying Machine back here, and we're going to Poison this. And we have our own Roll Recruits as well that we can um, use on defense. We'll go Roll Recruits here. Um, we can always zap the Inferno Dragon, but the Flying Machine is able to lock on, so that's pretty good for us. We'll go uh, Roll Hogs right now. I think this is the right play to make and apply some pressure on the on that right side. We're gonna have a lot coming down the or to defend this left side right here. We're gonna go with the zap as well. And we're just playing really good defense here, not trying to screw anything up. 
Um, we're going to go with the poison right here. At least finish off most of the row, row recruits, if not all of them. We're also going to go with the flying machine right here. And the flying machine is so clutch, it's able to fully defend that. So that's really good for us because we, didn't we don't have to worry about it on the back end. We're going to poison this as well. If he continues to give us poison value, we're also going to double uh, or evil zap that. We're going to go with the roll hogs right now. His He just got rid of his... Um, Skeleton King, so we should be okay here. We'll go with the uh, Little Prince ability, even though we take a stab or so to the face. We're gonna go Roll Recruits right now, and we should be okay here. We're gonna poison this out, and we were able to lock down defense right here. Really, really good stuff against Swarm. Um, it really, really can do well also against Beatdown decks. You got the Mini P.E.K.K.A. as well. So if you guys like a video like this where I'm trying something new, looking ahead to the next season, let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, please like, like, comment, subscribe for more. 